So Giddy, we're here at the 92nd anniversary of uh, Abonim Southern Africa, South Africa. Give us a sense of your feelings, your thoughts today, seeing all this, these people that have come together. My feelings are deeply influenced by the fact that I belong to one of the older generations present here today. And I find it both exciting and moving because we are in many ways like a kind of extended family deeply rooted in common experiences in the in the Habonim Draw Youth Movement experience. And I've heard of gatherings for anniversaries by various groups, youth movements. I know they've had them for English Habonim. I know the Americans have done it. I don't think there's ever been a framework as, as broad and as ramified as the one that started with the Zoom sessions, uh, what, two, three years ago, and that culminate in a gathering like this. And although not everyone who participated in those Zoom sessions are here, it's amazing how many were able to come, and from all over the world. It really is a remarkable experience, and you can see on the faces of people how absolutely thrilled everyone is. So, kola uh, kavod to you and the others, Dave, who pulled this whole thing together. And Wonderful. And the fact that we've got the group of youngsters of the current Bugrim here with us today, how does that also... Well, that feel? of course is vital. I think it's very important. And the thing that concerns me really is that so many people who were in the movement in past years, when uh, Habonim Dror was at its peak, uh, which more or less is up to the, 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 the mid-1980s, don't know the difficult conditions in which the movement continued to develop in South Africa and the changes that took place. And uh, that was why I was very happy to, to uh, draft a short history of the movement which incorporated whatever I could discover about what's happened. And I think this is a wonderful opportunity which I hope will be used by people to chat to members of the movement today who have come and hear a bit more about what it means to be in Habonim in very different circumstances right. and actually a very different movement in many ways right. but rooted in the same tradition. Right. What has been your what have you experienced this morning personally? Well, I'm overwhelmed by the number of people that I haven't seen for so many years and so many generations uh, that, uh, as I say, it's exciting and moving. Certainly uh, so pleased to be here today. Okay, great.